Hi, uh, welcome to part two of this uh, tutorial. Uh, today, <laughs> figuring out basic stuff which are in the options menu when you first install the game. So if we head to options, we have this and this. This is all your stuff. Don't use these. These are broken and I don't like them. This is useful though, you can toggle the fucking pulse in the background, you can change all this. What else can you do? You can change hit sounds, controls, FPS cap, I'm gonna just increase that. You, you can listen to the soundtrack, there's credits, accuracy, don't use the bio, which I don't know what this is. Anyway, here's save data. Basically, when you first boot up the game, if you look at the bottom left, it should say boyfriend but since we just press load on Pico's icon it should now say Pico you can save it saves on Mac please, and you have to load it manually anyway let's get a guide through the options so cutscenes basically fast like cutscenes that you see in the main game when you play weeks like the dialogue in week 6, the monster cutscene in week 5 for instance and then you've got the modifier menu which is basically this, if I just go to free play for instance and choose tutorial this is the modifier menu you can change what you want, there are some good stuff here I'll probably make a separate video on the modifier menu just to showcase the stuff it does Anyway, we also have the victory screen, which shows up when you beat a song, which will be demonstrated in a custom song video. Debug screen, uh, this doesn't exist anymore, so I don't know why it's here. Yep, down scrolls sounds for itself, it's like down scroll shit like in most rhythm games. Yeah. This is an option too, and I like this one. Uh, when you usually miss, it usually fucking mutes the vocals, which sucks. Judges are like... For whatever reason, I don't think there's old some of the other judgments. But there will be. Uh, ghost tapping is that thing in Kate that I hate, so I'm going to turn that off. Song position shows like the song bar, which is also on Cade Engine. It shows you how long of a song you have left. <laughs> Style is like basically if you turn this off, you'll get the vanilla free play menu, simplified, bland, and boring. Whereas if you turn this on, you'll get the cooler free play menu, which you can try out for yourself. Uh, ignore unlocks means that safe you can lock weeks using the story song with Jason which I'll introduce in a custom weeks video and if you tick this option you can play weeks that you've intentionally locked new judgment layout is literally just it's like moves the sick placement where it says like good bad sick and shit it moves that to the end of the health bar rather than next to GF these are custom Override judgments are like custom judgments or like custom ratings. So if we have normal for instance it'll show us the default F and F ratings. If we have say how I feel, it'll show Discord ones because it's funny. Osu lifts uh basically it stops you from holding a note too long. Combo breaks like Yeah. It doesn't flash a screen, it flashes whereabouts the arrow you missed is. Funny songs basically let me demonstrate this uh, if we just go to assets music let's just go to bland shit voices okay. songs. Cade Health is well it speaks for itself it uses Cade's health thing. Miss done basically it's like the vanilla missing it's annoying var rating I still don't know all this is offset is like like 
well it's offset of like notes accuracy mode if you turn it on complex it'll show like accuracy stuff timing yada yada binary I don't know what binary does I'll put in complex now credits show to people who worked on modding plus and if go back to where we were we have sound test test any song it don't test the actual song Jason it just plays the instruments and shit uh, controls you can change your keyboards hit sounds basically plays like it's like OC when you hit a note it plays a sound or other rhythm games FPS camp you can change the FPS story mode like it no downside this if I disable this we can only do free play HEO and options whereas if I go to options and turn it back on we can play story mode again it basically changes whether you can play this type of mode or not so if I were to disable the donate button you can't do it new character oh tile background I should demonstrate this when you first put modding plus like I showed in the last video there's a weird flashing background which of course you can just turn off if you, you don't like it very much usually when you press back it's fucking stupid and crashes so we have to boot this back up there we go now it's not flashing and it's just black if we go to options we can turn it back on though if you like it which I don't mind of course it's a bit broken when you turn it off it won't turn back on so if you want to have a title background I wouldn't turn it off you should ignore these stuff that pre it's pretty broken anything below this is broken sort of characters don't work stages don't work songs eh weeks the thing is song defaults to the old modding plus I think whereas you have to do it manually you can actually use version 2 weeks don't work and saw is kinda useless like entirely this category is literally useless like it is actually useless cause you're only going to do this shit manually anyway and I've already showed that these are saves and that was the options menu good luck modding I'll see you soon